What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Like and subscribe or you'll get pulled over every time you drive. High speed chases are serious business. When criminals get out of control, the situation can turn deadly super fast. That's why cops are coming up with new and better ways to stop speeding vehicles. Hang around till the end to see an amazing invention you won't believe. First up, we have the classic spike strip. These things were one of the very first inventions designed to help police stop a criminal they were chasing. We all know how this thing works. You lay down, the criminal dries over it, their tires get torn to shreds, and then boom, chase is over. Simple, easy, and effective. Sometimes you don't need fancy gadgets and gear. You just need a row of spikes that looks like a piece of medieval torture equipment. Seriously, if you think stepping on a Lego is bad, you should try running across one of these. Okay, don't do that unless you want your feet to look like they were attacked by a gang of giant porcupines. If porcupines start forming gangs, we're really gonna have a serious issue on our hands. Sometimes you need something a little bit beefier than a spike strip to stop a speeding vehicle. That's where these nearly indestructible barriers come in. These specially designed walls are placed in high security areas and are capable of stopping even the biggest trucks on the road. Nothing on wheels is gonna get past one of these bad boys. You'd need a tank to even have a chance of getting into an area guarded with these. Luckily for us, tanks aren't easy to come by, so we don't really have anything to worry about. If the Earth ever gets attacked by the Decepticons, I'm just gonna put a bunch of these around my house. Who needs Optimus Prime when you've got your own vehicle-proof fort? Seriously though, it's insane how much damage these things do to anything that tries getting past them. The biggest problem in using a spike strip to stop a vehicle is that they can cause accidents that hurt bystanders, as well as the people in the car. The X-Net has solved this issue with its revolutionary design that uses insanely strong nets to wrap around the car's tires and bring it to a stop safely. Using a net to catch criminals may sound like an idea straight from a Saturday morning cartoon, but it's actually a super safe and effective method of stopping speeding cars and trucks. I just wish that cops would start using nets for everything. Imagine how funny it would be to see criminals carried out in giant nets instead of handcuffs. The world would be a much better and entertaining place if we used more cartoon ideas in real life. Sometimes you need a gun that doesn't just spray lead everywhere. That's where this futuristic, non-lethal weapon comes in. A radio pulse gun works by disrupting the electronics inside whatever you aim it at. That means that a cop can use this during a chase to seriously mess with the criminal's getaway vehicle. The only issue with this technology is that it doesn't work on older vehicles that don't rely as much on electronic signals and switches. That's why you should use an old farm truck to make your getaway with. Or better yet, get one of those old school tractors and drive it. No one ever suspects that someone on a tractor did anything wrong. Make sure you put a piece of straw in your mouth and some dirty overalls to complete the disguise. Yeah, those wedge barriers from before were cool, but honestly, they aren't the best looking things in the world. Everything looks kind of militaristic and scary if it's surrounded by those big intimidating walls. For people who want insane security without making their buildings look like military compounds, the Heald HT-1 Raptor is perfect for the job. This ridiculously strong barrier is stored underground, but can be deployed in a matter of seconds with just the push of a button. This means that it can be put in high traffic areas and only used when it's really needed. And when it's not out, you can't even tell it's there. Not only does this improve the aesthetics of a building, but it also guarantees to surprise any criminal trying to blast their way inside. These beasts can stop a fully loaded semi-truck that's traveling over 60 miles an hour. And they don't just stop them, they absolutely demolish them. When a vehicle hits one of these things, it ends up looking more like a crushed soda can than a car. Okay, this one is straight out of a sci-fi movie. SafeStop is a piece of software that allows police and military to remotely hack into a vehicle and turn off the engine. That's right, they don't even need to touch your car to make it stop. They can do it all with a computer from a remote location. This is why if I ever become a criminal, I'm just gonna use my bicycle as a getaway vehicle. Sure, it's super slow, but at least nobody can hack it. I'll have the last laugh after every other criminal has their Tesla shut down. Actually, I won't be laughing, cause I'll be too out of breath from riding that bike. Maybe this isn't such a good plan after all. You know what, being a criminal is just too much work. Plus, it's more fun to watch other people get stopped by these insane gadgets. They say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But just because something works, that doesn't mean it can't be improved. Police have been using spike strips to stop speeding vehicles for decades, and they've always been really effective. There are a few drawbacks with the classic spike strip design though. With older models of spike strips, an officer has to be right next to the road to deploy the strip, and then remove it once the criminals have passed over it. This puts the officer in danger of being hit by debris caused by the car passing over the strip, or even getting run over by the car itself. That's why some police precincts are adopting a new form of spike strip that can be remotely activated from a safe distance from the road. These new methods of deployment are also faster than the old style, and they can be retracted with the press of a button when they're no longer needed. Pretty soon, these new and improved spike strips will be stopping criminals all over the country. I kinda wanna get one of these for my own driveway. 
I'm pretty sure setting up traps is illegal, but if the cops do come, they'll have to get through my spike strip before they can get to me. Oh, you thought that microwaves were just for cooking pizza rolls? No, oh, think again, because now the police are using them to shut down runaway vehicles. That's right, these crazy devices are used to basically cook the electronics inside your vehicle. One blast from this thing in your car is gonna be toast. I, I know you can't make toast in the microwave, but I still wanted to say it. I never thought I'd see something I use every day being used to stop criminals on the run. Wait, does this mean I can use my microwave to shut off other people's devices too? What if you guys give me your phone and let me test it out real quick? What's that? You want to put up a barrier that doesn't completely and utterly decimate the oncoming vehicles? Well, we've got just the thing for you. Unlike the other barriers we've talked about today, a net barrier is able to stop a speeding vehicle without turning the car into a crumpled up ball of metal. Because they're able to stretch and move, the net barriers are able to slow an oncoming car to a stop much more gently. This way you don't risk turning the driver into some sort of human soup as their car folds in on top of them. Plus, these things can be deployed in under two seconds, which makes them great for stopping unexpected guests. Remember what I said earlier about how we should use more nets? I'm just glad people are listening to my great ideas. Chasing down a speeding criminal can put the police, the criminal, and innocent bystanders at risk. A high-speed pursuit in a busy area can easily end in a horrible crash that could be deadly. That's why some cops have started using this advanced spy technology to safely track criminals from a safe distance. Star Chase is a revolutionary tool that launches a sticky GPS tracker that shoots out from the grill of a police cruiser. After the tracker is shot onto the vehicle, the police can monitor exactly where the criminals are going and plan a way to intercept them safely. I thought this kind of thing only existed in James Bond movies. Are you telling me the cops also have watches that can shoot lasers out of them? God, I'm glad I'm not a criminal. I had no idea that cops had technology that is this insanely high-tech. You might think that this barrier looks weaker than the others we've covered, but you'd be so wrong about that. What makes these barriers so great is that they're insanely strong, but can also be moved around and placed in strategic locations. That way you don't have to rely on a ton of planning beforehand and risk placing immovable barriers in areas that might turn out to be less than ideal. Module barriers like this are designed to take the force from the impact of a vehicle and transfer it to the ground. This causes the barrier and the car that hit it to launch into the air. If you hit one of these things, your ride is going to be out of commission for a while. This is the kind of damage that doesn't just buff out. If you're in a situation where you're ramming into one of these, I guess a broken headlight is the least of your concerns though. What's better than laying a net down on the road? Attaching one to your cop car, obviously. The grappler is an absolutely ridiculous but surprisingly effective method of wrapping up the tires on a fleeing vehicle. It works by unfolding a large net from the front of the police cruiser and then bumping it into the rear tire of the criminal you're chasing. The net instantly wraps around the tire and brings the vehicle to a safe stop. This is basically like going fishing, except for the fact that most fish don't weigh a couple thousand pounds and aren't made of metal. If fish were made out of metal, you could just tie a magnet to a string and never have to worry about going hungry. Actually, why don't cops put giant magnets on the front of their car to pull the criminals to them? Okay, that's a cartoon idea that probably wouldn't work at all in real life.